here is some advice on what to do with your voice and with your phone when you're recording. I've made a ton of these types of videos over the past couple of years. It's been my experience that you will screw up the audio. You're going to stumble over your words. You're going to mispronounce things. You're going to stutter a little bit. And it's much, much harder to fix those mistakes later on than it is to fix them right up front. So what you're going to want to do is create lots and lots of very short audio clips. Read your script as normal. I mean, make it sound, you know, more conversation like than you reading, but just do it a couple of seconds at a time. If you try to do the entire two or three minutes at once, you're going to screw it up and it's going to sound ridiculous. I mean, if you take a look at what you see in front of you, you'll see how many very small snippets I'm using just on this instructional video. This is nothing I'm being graded on. I could do this all in one shot, but I don't want to sound like an idiot. I don't want to have long pauses. I don't want to have a lot of stutters. So what that means for you is there's going to be pauses. There's going to be parts where, especially those of you who are talking about the, uh, the German side of World War II, you're going to mispronounce like the names of towns and the names of concentration camps and people's names. And when you do that, it's, it's going to sound awful. So the best way to fix that is to do it just a few seconds at a time. And then when you're done with that, just number them. Save the files as numbers. So the first couple of sentences will be one, second couple of sentences will be two. Then when you import them into Movie Maker, everything will be set up for you and it's it's just so much easier to do that and try to line up pictures to the sound than it is the other way around. Also, when you're done, make sure you save this as either an MP3 file or a WAV file. It has to be one of those two, otherwise Movie Maker is not going to be able to do it, and we're going to have to spend a lot of time converting what you've done into a comparable file. And that's going to take a lot longer than just redoing it.